So we've got our uh, manifolds uh, removed and I uh, just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison so that you guys can really see what, what the difference is. The uh, stock uh, Dodge manifold uh, kind of kicks the turbo out and uh, centers it on the engine. And uh, for our application, it uh, makes a little bit more sense to drop the turbo down and move it back a little bit. So you can see the difference in orientation of the turbo on those manifolds themselves. Um, this one from some of the other conversion companies, this manifold is actually called a uh, conversion friendly manifold. Well, it, uh, it does actually help a little bit uh, in certain applications. Now, if you're going to do this, there's a couple things you have to do to your turbo. And that is you have to index the uh, drain, the oil drain, down. <coughs> so you have to rotate it. And this, uh, this can be a real pain because it's always uh, rusty and uh, it's stuck. So my advice there is to just uh, take, uh, take your time, be patient, lots of penetrating oil, and uh, just work it. Um, and then the other thing that you're going to need to do is actually uh, loosen and be able to rotate the um, turbo outlet so that you can get all that indexed uh, correctly for all of your intercooler piping. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and uh, get that manifold hung back on the engine and set the turbo in place and see uh, how our uh, geometry is looking. So here's our uh, new exhaust manifold that uh, located the turbo down and back. Um, we had to uh, clock the, uh, the turbo so that it would uh, line up with the oil feed tube which is right here as well as we uh, had to modify and change our um, <clears throat> turbo drain so we got all that hooked up and um, also added in a uh, vertical water neck so we're uh, starting to get all of our accessory uh, brackets dialed in so that's all coming together and we're uh, gonna hook up the exhaust so what ended up doing for the uh, downpipe of the exhaust as you can see right here, uh, we just took the uh, Gen 1 factory uh, S-tube that comes off of the turbo and uh, sectioned it in two spots. So you can see the weld right there and then um, the uh, weld right there near that V-band clamp. And what we had to do is we actually had to shorten this 90 so that it would uh, get a little bit closer uh, turned down to the uh, firewall. And then we clocked uh, that other 90 to head back in the direction uh, that we needed. Um, lastly, we uh, welded in our uh, bung for our EGT. So uh, because this is such tight clearances to the firewall, we're going to uh, use some header uh, wrap and we're going to wrap, uh, wrap this whole pipe all the way down around back um, for two reasons. Number one, it'll keep uh, some more heat off the firewall and it will also help to uh, insulate from the heater tubes for the rear uh, heater that kind of run right in here. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this thing uh, wrapped with uh, tape, our header tape right there, and uh, go up in the air and show you guys how everything fits and go over some other details. Here's our S-pipe uh, installed. You can see it's really tight clearances in these uh, heater hoses. So here's what we did on the heater hoses. We went ahead and wrapped them with uh, some corrugated uh, <clears throat> wire loom and then also with some high heat uh, reflective tape. And they kind of will get secured up like that. And then this uh, exhaust pipe will get wrapped the rest of the way and we'll put another heat shield right here to help protect all that stuff. So, as you can see, it is a very tight fit up in there, but uh, that S-pipe actually fits in there pretty nicely. So, we'll go ahead and uh, put the extension on that and wrap up the, uh, finalize the exhaust. Now over here on this side, you can see a fuel filter. Well, that's not really a filter, it's more of a screen. And that was the location of the existing uh, diesel fuel pump. So since ours is a mechanical pump on the engine, we uh, removed the electric pump that came on the uh, Suburban and uh, installed a fuel screen um, just in place of it. 
Continuing on with the factory fuel lines up here, you can see we just put a clamp on them and then ran a couple of rubber hoses to the return line. Right there, as well as to the supply pump right there. 